I'm at the home of Michael Watson. Michael was one of my favourite boxers. He helps me with charities throughout the year. And I've come over, he's just come back from America and he's bought me some stuff back for Great Altman Street for the charity. And uh, he went out there with nine other champions. They've all signed the shirt. They've all signed the glove. And I'm hoping to raise plenty of money at the charity. I went out to uh, Orlando for, to raise money for children with cancer and for the and for Ringside Wrestling Care. I, I love America. It's my home, my family in America, in Miami. And the, the Americans love, love me dearly. I love them also. My man, my hero, my arm, Dali. My, my, my arm, Dali's wife. She said to me, her husband's spirits in me. I'm such a lookalike, you know, character, looks. She, I remind her, remind her of her husband. It was my first time to America to be experiencing that country with the champions. What an amazing time it was. Michael stole the show as always. He performed excellently, done everything that was asked, had to sign over 200 gloves, a number of t-shirts, was constantly taking pictures with fans, signing autographs. What a wonderful time it was. Definitely look forward to going back next year. Obviously, I remember the night when Michael got this terrible injury that he got. But today, well, he's near enough ready to fight again. That's how well he is. But five years ago when I saw him, he was in the wheelchair. And today, he's up and about. He's on the bike, training. I've known Michael for 11 years. I worked as a volunteer. When his previous carer, Leonard, needed to take time off, I would step in and play the carer's role. With Michael's progression over the last two and a half years, it's been constant pushing because I know Michael's potential. What Michael does for the fans, how he inspires them, he gives them a pillar of strength, as Spencer Oliver said. What Michael gets from his fans, by inspiring them. So when you put the two together, I can only do my best so that it benefits both Michael and his fans. And the progression from Michael in the last two and a half years is amazing. He's gone from strength to strength. He gets stronger every day. He's training more than he's ever trained before. And he's in the fittest shape of his life. The force is back. For the first time, Michael and Spencer are going to have a Q&A at the Circus Tavern on the 30th of July at 6.30pm in aid of sporting brain injuries. Uh, I think it's about £20 for entry, £50 for VIP tickets. We're expecting a good turnout. You can buy tickets on the door, so turn up and enjoy the night. It's going to be a first for Michael and Spencer to talk about what they went through as boxers what they went through and suffered during their injury and how they've overcome their injuries and where they are today. It should be, it should be a great, great event for all types of beings. Hopeful or hopeless. Give the people the inspiration and encouragement, encouragement they need to move on in life. It should be, it should be a good event. Michael will be at the golf day to help raise money and awareness for Uncle Morris and Great Ormond Street. We was in America for Ringside Rest and Care and Kids Beating Cancer. And I'd like to say a big thank you to the Moth Foundation who organised the whole event. It's an absolute privilege for what I've been through in my life. You know, what's happened to me is for a purpose. You know, to show people that there is always life. There is always hope where there is no hope. You know, I've been called the people's champion and I prefer to be, to be, to be the people's champion than to be a world boxing champion. Uh, I'll say it was very deeply to myself, Uncle Morris, boy said. I love to be the people, I love my people, I love my fans, I love everyone in general. And the force is back!